Tia Mowry and Corey Hardrick's divorce has been finalized, and Tia is finally spilling the tea on how Corey used her for money. Um, or I deserve happiness too. I feel like women, we tend to take care of everyone else, um, and we tend to forget about our own needs. Ever since Tia announced she was separating from Corey after 14 years of marriage, there's been a lot of speculation in the media about what led Tia to pull the plug on her marriage. While some sources initially claimed that Corey cheated on Tia, Corey denied this, and Tia started dropping hints that Corey wasn't contributing enough financially. And then reports emerged that Corey tried to challenge the existing prenup and forced Tia to pay spousal support. Well, Tia is finally setting the record straight on all these speculations, and yes, it looks like Corey really did use her for money. But I'm going a little deeper. I'm learning about self-worth. I'm learning about value. I'm learning about chasing the joy. On Wednesday, April 26, seven months after announcing her separation from her husband, Corey Hardrick, Tia Maori finalized her divorce. According to court documents obtained by today, Tia and Corey entered into a written agreement regarding their property and marriage or domestic partnership rights, including spousal support. The former spouses will also continue to share legal and physical custody of their two children, Cree and Cairo. However, shortly before the divorce was finalized, Tia shared an emotional Instagram post revealing that the experience was some of the hardest moments of her life over the past few months, and she again seemingly suggested the main issue in her marriage with Corey was his unwillingness to be an equal partner. To give you some context, Tia met Corey back in the late 90s when he was a struggling actor with almost nothing to his name. In fact, Tia literally picked Corey up from a bus stop and helped him to build his career in Hollywood. I was waiting on a bus stop. We, we sh I was shot my first film. Her sister and her drove by. They saw me waiting. They asked me to give me a ride. I was just like embarrassed. I was downtown. Yeah. They gave me a ride and we were friends ever since. Oh, cool. Took me to Inglewood. So that's how that relationship started. And yeah. we were friends and we just started dating to nothing. Um, and it just went from there, and I'm just real, man. Tia and Corey tied the knot in April 2008 and eventually welcomed two children together, a son, Cree, and a daughter, Cairo. And for the longest time, Tia and Corey's marriage seemed perfect from the outside because Tia never missed an opportunity to publicly praise Corey. He taught me how to believe in myself. I don't know, I'm about to cry. More than I believe in myself. He's like my biggest supporter, so. Don't cry. You're my biggest fan. Mm -hmm. However, looking back, there were actually quite a lot of red flags in their marriage. If you go and watch some of their old interviews Tia and Corey did together, you'll see that Corey often seemed very distant and even annoyed by Tia. Everything is not perfect, you know? Marriage is work. And that's... Marriage is work. Wait, is. I'm not here. Let me... Go ahead, sorry. I'm not gonna be here and like, you know, everything is raw. Mm -hmm. You have to work hard, you know, to stay married, you know, and stay together. Initially, fans thought that Corey was just shy and uncomfortable expressing himself in front of the camera. But those that have been paying attention know that Corey's behavior was a huge giveaway, that he wasn't genuinely in love with Tia as a person. Corey always looked irritated while Tia was always smiley, and it seemed like she was trying too hard to communicate that they were a picture-perfect, happy family when it simply wasn't so. I, I can't even, I can't even visualize myself, you know, without Corey. He puts up with me because I'm a little crazy. <laughs> I love you too. To death. Yeah, even though she get on my damn nerves. You get on my damn nerves. <laughs> I mean, but that's a part of a relationship, you know? <laughs> so when Tia announced in October 2022 that she had filed for divorce from Corey, many fans jumped to the comments to say that they had always had a bad feeling about Corey. Tia announced the separation via Instagram, sharing a black and white photo of her and Corey with a caption that read, These decisions are never easy and not without sadness. We will maintain a friendship as we co-parent our beautiful children. However, since Tia didn't reveal the reason she decided to end her marriage, rumors started popping up that someone had an affair. Fans on social media were quick to accuse Corey of cheating. However, Corey clapped back at one fan on IG and said the cheating rumors were lies. As for Tia, she initially didn't want to address all the speculations. However, she eventually started dropping hints that Corey was holding her back and that she had to leave him to understand her work. The same day she announced that she had filed for divorce, Tia tweeted, reminder, you are enough. You deserve love and you deserve to be understood for who you truly are. Tia also started sharing a bunch of girl boss bad B videos on Instagram and fans couldn't help but notice that Tia was definitely glowing differently after after leaving Corey. But then the situation took another surprising turn when Tia dropped a major hint that Corey was a narcissist who used her for money and refused to contribute to the household. Just weeks after she announced the divorce, Tia was caught liking and commenting on a video shared by influencer Lee Hammock. Hammock, who's been clinically diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, runs a popular Instagram account, Mental Healness, where he shares tips on how to recognize narcissistic traits in others. The video that Tia liked and commented with the eyes emoji on shared Hammock reenacting a situation 
situation when a narcissistic, toxic person refuses to pay any bills while also gaslighting and guilt tripping their partner. The caption on the video read, some toxic people will refuse to contribute around the home in any way. So the fact that this particular video caught Tia's attention and that she commented on it knowing full well that fans would notice is very telling. And it pretty much confirmed all the speculations about Corey marrying Tia for money. Many fans also pointed out that Tia probably didn't have a problem with Corey earning less than her because otherwise she wouldn't have married him in the first place and that the main issue was most likely Corey's entitled attitude. It wasn't the fact that he wasn't contributing, it was his attitude, one fan said. I'm sure even if he wasn't financially supporting the household but was still helping her around the house and with the kids and loving her, they would still be married. I think she felt like a single parent with a husband, his mistake. But just when we thought the situation couldn't get any messier, news broke that Corey was trying to challenge the prenup that he signed back in 2008. Based on this prenup, Corey wasn't entitled to spousal support. However, he still went and filed new papers in court questioning the validity of the prenup and seemingly trying to convince the judge that he deserves financial support from Tia. The court documents obtained show that Corey asked the court to terminate Tia's right to spousal support, but he left the box unchecked on whether he is entitled to financial support from her. But that's not all. Corey also requested the court to determine the validity of the prenuptial agreement dated April 2008, arguing that some of the provisions in the prenup were excessive and unreasonable. And when this came out in the media, many fans said that Corey is definitely a narcissist because he must have known he didn't stand a chance challenging a prenup he agreed to sign and he probably only filed these papers in court to punish Tia for leaving him. One fan commented, Tia was more than fair with the divorce, joint custody, no spousal support, and trying to be a family during the holidays. Imagine truly being in love with a man regardless of what he has, helping him reach his dreams, and he does this after y'all break up. The entitlement is bonkers. Tia, however, tried to put on a brave face for the public, and in her recent interview on Today with Hoda and Jenna, she described the separation from Corey as an awakening. I knew when I really started to focus on my happiness. Mm. I feel like women, we tend to focus on everybody else's happiness, um, making sure that everybody else is okay, meaning our children, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> meaning, you know, our children, our friends, our, you know, family, but at the end of the day, it's about self-love. And when you start to really work on yourself, love yourself, know your value, know your worth, and all, then all of a sudden there's this awakening. Wow. Tia also went on to say that no one should feel sorry for her because she's happy and she's celebrating a new chapter in her life. Because some people when you say, oh, my husband and I are going our separate ways, they go, oh no, all yeah. oh, that's sad. But you actually see this as a, a celebration. A yeah. celebration. I in the really beginning. do. However, after the divorce was finalized, Tia shared an emotional Instagram post revealing that this situation hasn't exactly been easy for her and wrote, If I'm being completely honest with you all, these last few months have been some of the hardest of my life. And the good news is that Tia is not letting all of this break her, and she said she will continue to push herself for the sake of her two children. There's no telling what direction life is going to take you, and nothing but one thing is ever certain the love I have for these two, Tia wrote. Even when the going gets tough, I do everything everything for my kids, for their future, and for the generations to come. And there's no doubt that Tia has public support on her side because fans are now praising her for doing what's best for her and her kids. And they're also saying that she should have dumped Corey a long time ago because he was clearly using her. One fan said, done seeing this play out with these celebrity women too many times. They end up paying for his lifestyle that was created off her back, shaking my head. And another person added, she should have left him at that bus stop where she found him. But how do you feel about this situation? Do you think Corey was really using Tia for money all these years? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to check out this next video.